I'm starting, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm starting with the Power Thought deck, okay? I love this deck so much. If you guys don't know anything about it, um, the Power Thought card deck is really, really good. Um, it It's an amazing tool, okay? And it's really affordable, too. So if you have a deck, you know, I used to pull a card a day or whatever, and it really, like, help me to do my shadow work too so we're going to start with that deck today and the first two cards that came out is energy of transformation changes in your life uh you really tapping into your inner wisdom and your intuition okay some of you guys are really getting more confident in trusting your, the decisions that you're making you're getting more confident and trusting how something makes you feel trusting how someone makes you feel and, and then following through on that guidance. So that's good. If you're not doing that, then Spirit is saying, hey, they're just trying to tap you on your shoulder and tell you, hey, trust your intuition. Trust your wisdom as you go about your day. Listen to your own guidance. Your intuition is always on your side, right? Your intuition is always going to lead you to where you are supposed to be. So trust what it is, trust what it's telling you, trust how it's making you feel physically, emotionally, and spiritually, right? Trust how your gut feels. Um, trust how you feel when somebody leaves you or when they're around you or when you're in a situation. Really tap into that energy, okay? Because <clears throat> it's there for you to keep you safe. It's there to keep you away <laughs> from certain things and people and from making certain decisions that may ultimately, you know, guide you either the right way or the wrong way, right? Um, so if you don't listen to it, obviously you're going a different way. But if you do listen to it, you're always going to be going the right way, down the right path. And I'm just going to tell you this, you know, when I met my twin, I was like divinely guided to my twin multiple times. But at some point, on several occasions, I was guided away from my twin, okay? I was the runner. And something told me in my intuition, something about this isn't right. Something about this isn't right. I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it. But my, my gut, my intuition was telling me my person was not awakened and to run, <laughs> But ultimately, we were still guided together towards each other, you know, and I was guided back to my twin. And fortunately, but unfortunately, that just means I had a lesson to learn, you guys. That's all that really meant. Like, Spirit was like, no, you're going to get this lesson. You are going to get this lesson. So, hey, it is what it is. Now we have an energy of being uh, willing to release Okay, releasing old negative thoughts. Okay, so be willing to change. You're stepping into some form of transformational energy with this butterfly. So it says, I am willing to change. And this is really could be about anything, right? You may have gone through some form of tower moment where honestly you didn't trust your intuition and you had a tower moment or the decisions that you made. <clears throat> You didn't trust your intuition and whatever it is, it doesn't even matter anymore. You can let it go. You can release the old negative thoughts. You can release the negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in your way and you can replace those negative thoughts with new positive thoughts. Okay. And, and fulfilling thoughts. You can do that. What else do we have here? So a very strong message of you trusting your intuition. Oh, you got new doors coming into your life, new opportunities coming. That's great. Okay. I rejoice in what I have and I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. So if you just let go of the old, it's time for you to transform and step into a new cycle in your life where you're fulfilled, where you're happy, where you are finally trusting how you feel about something. Um, or, or you finally trust and believe and follow the guidance that you are receiving. Okay, so that's good. That, that's really good here. So you got some new opportunities and some new doors opening for you. For some of y'all, that could be in money. That could be in love. That could be, you know, whatever it is. You could be buying a new home, buying a new car. Just be willing to release the old stuff. All right, because you want that new stuff to come in. And the old stuff is not going to serve where you're going, all right? That old stuff was there for you in the past, and now it's time for you to recreate something. 
that's much, much easier and healthier for you. All right, Angel of Balance. Oh yeah, money's gonna be getting good, getting way better. Like you have some new opportunities coming towards you that is gonna create some form of value in your life here and improve your finances too. Something fair, something balanced. Make sure you also are spending your money in moderation. Don't overspend. There's also a message here of that. So you may need to be taking a look at your finances and how much money. But man, again, more energy of you listening to your intuition and your inner guidance. I don't know if you guys are overthinking something here with this thinking man energy when you should be really trusting your intuition. That's what this is giving. Somebody here is being very deceitful here. You got some form of deceitful energy around you. I don't know who this is. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Show me more here for the collective. Some of y'all might even be experiencing some changes. You might be experiencing some dreams. Your receiving some form of download or spirit is trying to send you signs and synchronicities and they are doing that to guide you okay they want you to be on the path that you, you're meant to be on and i strongly feel like with this energy you are on the right path and, and now you're getting ready doors are getting ready to open for you and finances are going to be improving here too i feel like you guys are I just want to tell you this because this is the energy that's coming up. It's almost like you're, you're, you are the keeper of knowledge. You know, you have the answers. Okay. You do. You hold the answers. You know what it is that you need to do, but you may not be feeling confident in that. So now is the time for you to feel confident in that too. Okay. Again, uh, energy of gratitude is here. Make sure intuition's out here again, you guys. Either your intuition is getting better or, you know, a lot of you guys too. Look at this intuition. Trust and follow your heart, okay? Everybody has an intuition. It's just about whether or not you trust it, right? Um, so <laughs> you need to be listening to what you, how you feel about something. Whatever it is that you're sensing from moment to moment, only you know what it is that you need here. There's a strong sense of... I know what I need. I'm the only person that can give it to me. And, and that's just it. There's a, that's what spirit is trying to remind you of here. Cause intuition came out with self love. So it's almost like whatever it is that you're being guided to do to feed your inner child or to heal your inner child here. <clears throat> Cause there seems to be some work that's being done. You guys may have been working on your inner child or healing your inner child. Like you could be in therapy. You could be doing a lot of shadow work. However, you're doing the shadow work, right? Allow your vulnerability, your vulnerable inner child to come out and, and feed that inner child. Do whatever it is you need to do. I know for me, for instance, I went to the park the other day and I got in a swing and I, I it was fun. I'm like, dang, I hadn't been on a swing in a long time. So just allow yourself to have fun and allow yourself to be playful. You know what I mean? Because it looks like you need to take care of yourself like you've never taken care of yourself before or you're being guided to take care of yourself. Go get a massage or, you know, go roller skating or whatever it is you're being guided to. Spirit wants you to take care of that inner child. Okay. Give yourself the things that you need. Like maybe there was something that you were lacking as a child that you didn't get. Maybe there was something that you wanted to do, always wanted to do as a child. Like maybe you wanted to go to Disney World or something, right? This is Spirit saying, feed that inner child and go do those things. Also to these negative thoughts, okay? Remember I was saying gratitude. Don't focus on the things you don't have. Focus your energy and your thoughts on the things that you do have and that's gonna bring in more abundance for you because we do have energy of door to value here, okay? And a new opportunity opening up for you. You, you are being provided for. You have everything that you need right now. Okay, remember that. Somebody here may also 
be getting a new car or something. Um, there's a divine source here. Look at this energy. We also we already have intuition out here twice, really three times with this seven chakra card. So you are actually you I feel like you're leveling up or your your intuition is expanding or this is just you really learning and understanding that inner power and that inner wisdom that you have and understanding and being confident that you are connected to source because that's a real thing so it says help me know that all my deep, deepest needs will be met let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come you are my source for all again Spirit is saying you have everything you need or you will be provided for. However, you must meet us in the middle, trust your intuition, follow along, right? What we're telling you and allow, right? Allow um, and accept reality. Yeah, accept reality because there's something next. There's something coming to you. There's something really good coming to you. And it involves... Let's read door, door to value real quick. Okay. Um, the number 31 could be significant for you. The number 46 could be significant for you. The number 41 or the number 48. So door to value. It says this card shows a door with a gold, a gold coin on it. Opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Right. It says money, coins, and jewels are flying towards you through the open door, revealing a golden city beyond. Um, all of the all all of this points to the potential for exciting new beginnings, okay, or expansions where work or money are connected. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected, or perhaps it's something you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may open up to you now, okay? Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through that door. All right. Get ready to step through that door. Trust your intuition. Uh, new opportunities are coming towards you. You have fresh new experiences that are getting ready to open up with you. And, you, you know, trust that life is getting ready to greet you with something wonderful, right? What else do we have for the collective here? y'all are getting a new car or a new home your finances are actually getting ready to improve here somebody could be going through something where you're concerned about finances or this is not for everybody or you're concerned about whether or not you're going to lose your home or something to that nature some of y'all are thinking about also to getting a, a security system or a camera system or something of that sort somebody's home could have been broken into um, or they're concerned about like something about the neighborhood is changing here. That's really weird. I know it's coming up, but I have to tell you. But Spirit wants you to know that either A, if you're having issues with like paying your rent or paying your mortgage or you're afraid you're going to lose your home, you're not going to lose your home. If you feel like you need to get a security system, I mean, obviously do whatever it is that you need to do to feel safe. Um, but just say a prayer, you know, thank you for guiding me, guiding me and keeping my home safe and, um, you know, and pray and do whatever it is you need to do to call upon God and whoever else it is that you believe in. Somebody here too may be having issues with taxes, like ta somebody's taxes may have gone up and they have to pay taxes on a uh, property and you're, you're concerned about that too. Something's going to work out where you'll be able to pay those taxes, okay? I don't know what's going on here with you guys feeling unsafe. The spirit is reminding you that you are safe. Hold on, I dropped the card. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Some of y'all would really benefit from doing some form of energy healing work. Okay, so whatever that is that you're doing, whether you're connecting with the healer, some of y'all could be healers, energy healers. Some of you guys are teachers or spiritualists or some sort, or you might be researching and thinking about diving deeper into energy healing, some form of energy healing. 
then do that. All right. It looks it looks like that'll be beneficial to you. Okay. Um, either way, it looks like there's something that you need to commit to. All right. I it has something to do with your purpose. It has something to do with you having the confidence and the strength. Again, trust. Trust that your inner wisdom is always going to guide you and that your inner wisdom is strong. It's stronger than you know, okay? So all you have to do is ask to be guided by source, right? Because divine source energy is here. I feel like they're already guiding you. I just feel like spirit just wants you to open your heart to new experiences because those new experiences are becoming available to you. And you might might not be as uh, willing to be open to change here. Because remember, we did say, the I think the first card out was like, I'm open to change or something like that, right? Um, love is here for some reason today. Spirit wants to talk about it. Some of y'all uh, want a commitment, have been praying for a very special love connection in your life. You're looking for somebody. Uh, very special though you're not looking for any just just anybody you're looking for a soulmate looks like spirit is preparing a soulmate for you yeah and i feel like this connection when it comes in it's going to really change your life their spirit is arranging for you to meet someone new okay and spirit wants you to be open to having a conversation don't judge a book by its cover all right, whatever this is, is going to be a true int intimate connection with whoever this is. I like this energy. I don't even, I haven't seen this card in so long in this day. Romance angels are helping you. But they're saying you got to be committed. <laughs> you got to be committed and maybe open to receiving here is what this looks like. When you meet this new soulmate, you're getting ready to meet a new soulmate, like a very special special connection. A spirit is guiding someone here or preparing your soulmate or pushing you and guiding you to, to, to meet somebody. It's, it's, yeah, I like this for you. When you meet this person, I'm telling you, your life is going to change. You're, you will recognize each other immediately, but I feel like somebody's not going to have the courage to say hi or speak up or somebody could be nervous or um, you might be like minding your own business. Maybe you're not even really focused on love. That could be it. You know what? I'm going to get, don't be shy and don't judge a book by its cover. Please don't because you never know who somebody might be or you know, um, how the two of you may connect, you know, in the most unorthodox way. All right. Let's get your financial message because I want to see what's going on here with this door to value and you feeling, having some situation with your taxes and then you got some sort of new opportunity coming in to show me here one of the messages for the week ahead when it comes to money and finances for the collector. Okay. Yeah. You're feeling limited. You're feeling real limited in your finances right now. Um, but the thing is, look at this. It's safe for you to receive. Didn't I say earlier you need to go ahead and uh, be open to receive here? Um, I, I, I told you, if you're having trouble paying for something, going through some form of financial difficulty, your, fi your finances are getting ready to improve. Obstacles and blocks are being lifted, literally. So be open to receive, okay? We have, look at that. So help is coming. This is great. It says all of your personal work and your positive energy shift, you have shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that the flow of abundance continues. Remember, stay centered in gratitude. Pay attention to your thoughts. Cause you got something new coming in and um something's gonna be resolved here you're definitely going to be seeing some in some progress in your finances and whatever roadblocks or issues you were having i'm telling you source is going to be there to help you um just be willing to push forward okay and and stay focused make sure you're blocking out any distractions okay 
Um, it says, be open to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with other people. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Okay? So now is the season to give. All right? But also, if you're one of those people who is buying a million gifts for everybody in your family, you need to, you don't have to all buy it you know, everybody in the family a gift, okay? You can just buy, especially if you're having financial challenges here. Just be open to receiving. You know, that's like, this was reminding me of somebody asking you, like, what do you want for Christmas? And you're like, oh, I don't want anything. No, yes, you do. I don't care if it's a, what's the, where's that? You want a new pot that you want to cook X, Y, Z in? Then ask for that new pot. Don't, don't be afraid. Abundance mindset. Look at that. <laughs> if you think of abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Okay. Some of y'all, I feel like maybe made some choice, some choices and some decisions in the past that you feel guilt guilty about or maybe that you made mistakes everybody makes mistakes but the mistakes are really like lessons it's not failure it's just lessons all right so just let go of that guilt okay forgive yourself for what you feel like you did or what you didn't do or you didn't do it right just learn and grow from the mistakes don't don't have more compassion for yourself you're not perfect okay you're just not nobody is perfect what else can we collectively expect here? Thank you. Eagle, haha, <laughs> you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Look at this mountain. Y'all are definitely overcoming obstacles, and obstacles are being blocked. Um, blocks are being lifted, and obstacles are being moved out of the way. You're coming out of a valley of a mountain. You're overcoming a lot of stuff. It says, know that you are protected as you face challenges. But remain cautious. Okay, so let's see what this mountain energy is about. I haven't seen this card come out of this deck at all. It says, this, this mountain card represents protection, but there's always a danger when we climb a mountain that we could fall. This card warns us of possible hazards or threats and something that you did not create for yourself. Remember to be cautious in any decision making. Remember, trust your intuition. Okay. Um, you'll be fine. Now, this card is about caution. Be careful in who you trust. Okay, there we go. Remember, we saw some deceit earlier. So be careful because there is some deceitful energy around you. Uh, be prepared for someone to try to take your job. There may be some hidden enemies on the business front, but this is nothing you can't handle. If there are problems around your business or job, be sure to see your superiors or partner and talk it out. So get that shit out in the open is what this is telling me, okay? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Y'all might actually be dealing with people who, this is going to really be, I feel like, an emotional time of the year. So make sure you're treading pretty lightly when it comes to dealing with certain people. Protect your energy, protect your space, do whatever it is that you need to do to protect you, you're, you protect you first. Look out for yourself first before you look out for anybody else. What other advice do we have for the collective for the week ahead, please? I remember I was saying give. You don't have to buy everybody a gift and you don't, but also be open to receiving. Just make sure you're finding some balance in that. Meaning you're not giving whatever and you are inviting you know what i'm saying like if somebody asks you what you want for christmas just tell them just tell them okay whatever you don't have to be saint nick to everybody and everyone it says one of the best feelings we can experience is giving to each other when we do so we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because someone else's happiness think of one way you can give to another person today so now giving doesn't have to mean you have to buy something, okay? Giving can be you volunteering. Giving can be you cooking dinner. Giving can be, I know you needed to do laundry, so I did the laundry, okay? It, it, release energy, 
I'm not surprised to see this release energy here. It says you're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of drama. And this is the first step in achieving that. And I just literally said, like, we're in the holidays and it's, everybody's emotions are kind of like all over the place. And like, just tread lightly. Do what you need to do to protect yourself from drama okay so for some of y'all it might be releasing some energy from this person who's been deceitful don't allow this person to suck you into any drama i feel like too like uh nip it in the bud sooner rather than later especially if you're dealing with deceit at work or when it comes to money and finances nip that stuff in the bud right away All right, it's time. It is time. What is it time for? It says you're being asked to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out to the world. You are ready. It is time. You're ready. It's time. It's time for you to break break free from every chain, right? Release yourself from any negative whatever. It says you're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary if you're going to share your true self with other people. Be, be brave. Be real. Be you. And trust that those who love you will always love you and be there for you. You can be your authentic self. Don't be doing stuff for other people because you think that's what they want to hear or you think that's what they want you to do. No. Nah. Do protect yourself at all costs. And then we have receive at the bottom of the deck. I told y'all, you're, you're getting ready to have some form of new beginning in love and in finances too. Be open to receive, but also when your finances improve, make sure that you're giving back. You know, make sure you find a healthy balance in between that is what Spirit is saying. Um, and it might just be time for you to let go of some people in your life, you know what I mean? <clears throat> or some toxic work situation, whatever it is. Either way, uh, things are improving for you. So this is good. Find you a way to pay it forward to somebody. Giving could just be you paying for somebody's coffee that's in front of you or paying, paying for somebody's food that's behind you, you know, in the drive-thru or whatever, right? I mean, everybody situation is going to be different. Whatever works for you floats your boat. Hit the like button. I love you guys. If you need a reading, that information is below in the description box. You can email me or you can just click the link in the description box that takes you directly to the Etsy shop. If this is where we end here for you, until next time, I love you, I love you, I love you. Namaste.